In this video, we will introduce the MV distribution network model. The base model study case should be active. The overview diagram shows a 20 kV network, which consists of five grids, four of which are in the same region. We'll just focus on these four grids and deactivate the fifth. Sites and substations have geographic coordinates defined. And a geographic map layer has been enabled to show the location of the network. This is done using this diagram layer configuration command. In this geographic diagram, the large circles show the primary sites that provide an interface to higher voltage external grids. Let's look at one of these sites. The diagram is colored according to voltage level, and in this case, the site has a 63 kV substation and a 20 kV substation. The small circles and squares show the distribution substations. These typically contain incoming and outgoing circuits and a medium voltage load. The load has a distribution transformer type selected, which means that a transformer is included within the load element. On the load flow page, settings for both the load and the transformer are specified. In a distribution network, it's useful to define feeders. These are grouping objects which indicate how the different parts of the network are supplied and they can be automatically created. In this network model, feeders have already been created and the diagram can be colored according to feeders. Returning to the Layers dialog, we can mark the locations of normally open switches. Switches can be defined as normally open via a flag on the Tie Open Point Optimization page. Tie Open Points are locations where two adjacent feeders are separated by an open switch. We can see here that the normally open switches are acting as tie open points. And now let's enable this switch marker. It's used to indicate substations containing switches that have been defined as having remote control capability. There's another colouring option that's useful for distribution networks. Suppose we're concerned that feeders that should be operating radially are actually operating in a ring. We can activate an alarm colouring feature that will highlight such cases. Non-radial operation of any feeder will be highlighted in red. At the moment, there are no such issues. Let's switch the network to deliberately introduce a ring and see what happens to the diagram colouring. This can be done by closing one of the normally open switches. We can see from the colouring that the network is no longer fully radial. In the following videos, we'll look at many of the calculation functions that can be used to analyse this distribution network.